what is up my sagittarius is how are you doing excuse me can you close my door and go back sorry y'all that's my daughter um spirit guys cleanse the energy send any negative energy back to the sender send any negative energy back to the sender any entity shines to block this reading or any messages that you stepped up behind me sent to me bind them back to where they belong okay so let's get into this energy for my Sagis. Okay, I am ascending Sagittarius. So that's my rising. So let's see messages, spirit guides, for my Sagittarius is some rising and Venus signs. Okay, those who you may feel like you're capable of something, or people are capable of something. Because I don't know why I was gonna say that. But give me <laughs> clear, concise, and precise messages for my Sagittarius and those within their chart. For April 8th for the eclipse in the new moon. What is this eclipse in new moon on April 8th bringing in my Sagittarius? Is, okay. Overall general messages. What is this energy for April 8th with the eclipse and the new moon bringing my Sagittarius? Recognition and reward. Okay. Didn't I just say something like that? Okay. Hope. Mm. Okay, you may feel like a burst of energy or a beam of light. Okay, and prosperity begins. Capricorn had that. So you may be getting some love that's blossoming in the air or self-love. Okay, you may be getting grounded in your heart chakra and having some type of special transformation with inside your heart chakra. Okay, I feel like something may be coming into perfect alignments for you. All right, you're going to be like... It's like you're showing up and showing out. You could be getting recognition and rewards from your job, people, places, God, the most high. Okay. Because you remained hopeful through some type of trial and error. All right. And now you're reaping your benefits. You're reaping your prosperity. The plants that you had in your hand that you gave to the universe. All right. They're now growing. Okay. Yeah. I love that with the, the heart chakra. And now it's time. Now you can finally rest and rejuvenate your energy and recharge. Some of you guys have been working hard. Okay. You're taking back control of your life and you're having a new beginning with fulfillment and your wishes. It's like everything is coming together for you i love that energy for you yes honey okay spirit guys give me some messages for my um some of y'all can be dealing with a capricorn or have it in the chart give me some messages when it comes to love with my sagittarius is with this eclipse and this new moon what is what is what is this uh eclipse and new moon bringing my some of y'all could be dealing with a cancer okay or releasing yourself from a cancer you getting over having cancer congratulations if that's something that you are a survivor of all right spirit guys give me messages when it comes to my sagittarius and those who have it in their chart what is this eclipse and new moon bringing my sagittarius 9 55 on the clock Some of y'all have been balancing you want to be ratchet and wanting to be wholesome. Like, I don't know why I just got that. I'm hearing ratchet song and I see a Target truck. Um, <laughs> it's like, I want to be ratchet with my friends, do hood rat things with my friends. But then again, I want to be in love. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you're staying optimistic. You're staying very positive about what sh what love about love here. You could be um giving offerings, okay? Um, open yourself up to the divine and your angels and letting them guide you when it comes to love. Yeah, there could be some type of reconciliation. You're being optimistic about a reconciliation here, but something could be unrequited. Um, Capricorn just had unrequited. It's like you're trying to be optimistic about this could be a friendship I'm getting from some of you or a family situation, but family dynamic 44 on this timer. You're trying to stay optimistic about a reconciliation, but something is unrequited here. And it, it, something better is on the horizon. I'm feeling like, give me one more. 
Yeah, release your ex. Let this person go. Have trust and faith here. It's like you're going to meet somebody who you have more chemistry with, okay? And they're going to be the one, all right? But first, you have to love yourself first in order to have this true love. This past relationship, there could have been some religious factors, some type of, like y'all had different morals or standards that caused you guys to separate. Spirit is saying there's someone better. Mm. Sorry, I'm trying to write this down before I forget. Yeah, okay, let's clarify these cards. Yeah, you could be getting communication about a betrayal or somebody want to talk to you about the way something ended here. It's like we are in Mercury retrograde, so you can expect people from your past wanting to... Somebody don't want you to listen to your intuition, but there could be people from your past popping up, wanting to make things right, wanting to fix things, okay? You know, it's like they, they wanted to fight or bring some type of argument or be in competition. Like, it's just so much. Spirit, give me some uh, messages to clarify this energy here for my Sagittarius. It's like somebody never knew love until, like, they left, like, until you left or something like that. Okay, what about stay optimistic for my Sagittarius? This Somebody could be country. Yeah, you're moving forward successfully. Some of you guys are in the public eye. You're looking good, all right? You're just in this energy of being mysterious. Pisces energy, okay? You're being mysterious. You're keeping about who you're giving to to yourself, okay? Like, who you're dating to yourself. You're walking away from things that don't serve you. And you're just like, you're standing on business. Like, you're being very independent. Like, you're working on your stability. You could have a lot on your you know, plate right now and manifesting some type of release and you're going to have it. Okay, what about the six of wands? Ooh, yeah, you're getting some type of justice. Things are balancing out from you, for, from you. <laughs> you, bring it, you bring a lot of balance to people, all right? You're getting some type of justice. You bring justice. That's what you're headed towards. You, it's like you're staying optimistic. You're like, I'm having justice. I'm going to get favor. I'm going to have faith. And it's coming soon with the Amazon Prime truck coming. You're coming out of hermit mode. Mm-hmm. Virgo energy, Libra energy here. What about the Hermit in reverse? Yeah, but you could still be at a stalemate with something, okay? It's like you're moving forward and you're getting justice, but somebody is wanting to come out of Hermit mode, but they could still be stuck here. Somebody's still stuck on stupid. They still don't know what the fuck they want to do. All right. You could be confused, like coming out of hermit mode, but you're not sure yet just what path you want to take in something. OK, and the divine is there to guide you. They bring, you know, clarity to you. They still want you to have optimism. OK, yeah, they're going to give you some type of truth about a cancer Pisces Scorpio who is watching you or keeping an eye on you. Somebody may want to take action towards you, but they're sick in some type of a family situation. They have overworked themselves or. Somebody feels like they missed the opportunity with you. What about the two swords? <laughs> yeah, you're not sure about what you're about what you want to invest in or, or deal with. You're staying optimistic here. You're coming out of hermit mode. Some of you guys could not be dealing with people. Okay, you're just in this energy of, of staying to yourself, but you're coming out of that. Um, but you're still now that you're coming out of that, it's like you're just taking a moment because you're not sure about who you want to deal with or what to invest your time into. And there, there's going to be some type of sudden change. You're going to have a lot of options, a lot, a lot of opportunities to celebrate here. Um, I feel like also there's going to be some type of sudden change here when it comes to like illusions. I feel like y'all going to just be happily single or something like that. What about reconciliation? Yeah, y'all releasing some type of burden. Yeah, y'all have released some type of burden here. I'm also getting somebody's unsure if you want. They want to come out of hermit mode to you, but they're unsure if you're ready to invest in them. This is somebody who you released. You released the weight. Somebody who juggled you. Okay, they, they were having sex with other people here. And you set up boundaries with this King of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Or this is a masculine who's setting up boundaries. Okay. 
you're being very choosy with who you give yourself to. Yeah, it's like you, you're off to new love. You're holding back. Okay, you could be... You're protecting yourself when it comes to a king of wands here who wants to give you a new love, but you're holding back. Okay, Sagittarius, it's like you're you kind of holding back from somebody. All right, who wants to give you something? I feel like some of y'all, somebody's holding on to you and you've moved on and dead at this shit a long time ago. Okay, what about the ten of wands in reverse? Yeah, it's like you're you let something go, you let the burdens of the past go, and I feel like you're you're planning for the future, you're strategizing, you're expanding, you're expanding your thought, you're thinking logically when it comes to how to balance things out in your finances and your like anything. Okay, what about the three of wands? Yeah, it's like you're expanding here. Something is on the horizon. There's a lot of celebrating that's going to be happening with you. It's like you're going to be celebrating your manifestations coming into light. And somebody going to be feeling like a, you. they missed out an opportunity to have some type of legacy with you because you're blowing up. I feel like some of y'all are blowing up. You could be tired from work. What about the three of cups here? Yeah, you're setting up boundaries when it comes to new starts, okay? It's like you have been fighting for... This new beginning, this new beginning, this new balance. I'm, I'm hearing some of y'all could like new balance gym shoes. I don't know. <laughs> but you're protecting your peace, all right? And I feel like a lot of you, too, are not playing with people who are just coming in serving D or serving P, okay? You're protecting yourself. You're protecting your energy here. I feel like y'all are off to new, bigger, and better. I feel like also somebody has dropped a burden. That's just your energy with someone else's energy who wants to reconcile with you. They have let go or released some type of baggage here. They could be in the process of moving, but they're planning to come towards you to reconcile. And I feel like you're going to have your boundaries or your guards up when it comes to them wanting a second chance in a new beginning. Okay, this is going to be unexpected, but I feel like this is something that you manifested in the past. But somebody could have took a lot of time. What about the Ace of Wands? Yeah. Somebody wants a, a fresh start with you. They have a lot of feelings for you, Queen of Cups energy. And you're going to try to have the strength here to communicate that you're done. Or it's like you're being strong and you're telling somebody like, I'm done with this. Because you're guarded now. It's like you're focused on your stability and this person does not serve you anymore. What about unrequited? The Hierophant. Okay, you're, you learned the spiritual lesson. You learned the lesson here. What about the Hierophant? Yeah, you learned the spiritual lesson. I feel like about holding on to what doesn't belong to you, holding on to what doesn't serve you. Um, I feel like you guys are focused on moving towards your dreams. Like you're putting all your time and energy into your finances and funding your dreams and what it is that you want out of this life. And you, I feel like you you learned the spiritual lesson too about holding on to things, holding back. Yeah, you're healing. You you learned the spiritual lesson about somebody from your past. What's this seven of pentacles? Because this is bothering me. Yeah, somebody's unsure if you want to invest in them. They're watching you. They still unsure if they want to move on with you and they unsure if you want to move on with them. It's like, it's just weird as fuck. But you you went in another direction. You have overcome some type of obstacles here. I feel like you're you're fine. Yeah, somebody from your past wants to work, to work together with you, okay? And you're side-eyeing them. You're the empress, okay? Sagittarius energy. It's like you're in this energy of going in a new direction, new adventures, new everything. You freed yourself from this person. You gained clarity and you're happy where you're at with this ending. 14-14 on the timer. Okay, what about the uh, four of pentacles here? Yeah, <laughs> three of pentacles in reverse. You don't want to work with this person. You have turned your back. You have ended things with this person. Okay, you're, you're, you're defending yourself when it comes to this person because they left you in confusion here. They, they, they sabotaged this connection. And now you're off to bigger and better. You want a new beginning. You're moving forward. You, you're, you are the star. You are that one you are the head b-i-c-c-h in charge whether you're a man or a female like 
somebody kept a lot of secrets. They were being sneaky, being in the dark, committed to other people. Okay, yeah, giving other people stuff. Like, it's just a no for you. You're setting boundaries. Queen of Swords, you're very cold towards this person. Yeah. This person is not a team player. You do not want to work with this person. You do not see the quality in this person. And they feel in some type of way. This is not just one person. This is multiple people. Okay, because if you look in the background, ain't nothing growing on this tree. Ain't nothing growing on the tree. You see this person? They up there watching you, observing you, trying to see, okay, there could be two people doing this. Yes, they, they want to bend over backwards because they see you moving on. It's like they trying to do everything in the book to get you to pay attention to them. They trying to do everything in the book to get you to give them some type of attention. And you're just like, no, you're taking your power back. you like, stop fucking playing with me. All right. What about release your ex? Yeah, this person want to love bomb you, but you, you've healed from this person. They want to apologize. They want to fix things. What about this Knight of Cups? But they're having a hard time, like, bringing this into reality with a magician. This person is up in their head. What about the magician? Yeah, they want to talk to you about this loss. They feel like the loss of you, they're grieving the loss of you. Yeah, they're grieving the loss of the, you, the star. And they just feel like they don't know nothing about you no more. It's like They feel like you just hiding that you're in a relationship, a strong connection with somebody. Okay, I feel like you have already released this person. What about the Page of Pentacles? Yeah, they want to talk to you about ending something. I feel like y'all manifested an ending. Y'all manifested setting this person free so that you can heal temperance card, Sagittarius energy. It's like y'all in y'all bag. Y'all in y'all energy of healing. You are happy where you are. Period. You are happy where you are. You are living fun free. You having like, you doing you. They Spirit said, I'm right on target. Saw so another target truck go past. You are done with this contract. They want to talk to you. Somebody could have ended something with their ex and they want to talk to you about it. And now they want to heal things with you. What about the lover's energy? Yeah, somebody with your past. Like you've cut this contract. You done with them. But they want to give you a gift of some sort. Okay, they want to reconcile with you because now they see that you are their happiness. I feel like for some of y'all, they ended some, something with somebody that they had a family with. Okay. They had a lot of drama and chaos. In, in a family, this person feels like you were their happiness, You're, you were their wish fulfillment, but they put you in competition with other people. It's like they want to apologize. What about the Six of Cups? Yeah. They want to reconcile because they see you as a Ten of Pentacles, somebody that that has it all, that has stability, that has some type of inheritance here, but it's like you're done. You're done. You're done. What about this five of cups? <laughs> yeah, this grief, this loss was an illusion, okay? Somebody here was in some type of denial here. They could have got sick with a sexually transmitted disease here because they was over here or a sexually transmitted demon because they was over here giving to a whole bunch of people. And now this person is watching, spying on you because they feel like you out here happily single and they left you out in the cold. They abandoned you. What about the seven of cups? Somebody's feeling like you putting on some type of illusion here. And then somebody, I feel like this person is also grieving the choices that they made. Now they're trying to think logically about how to make something right or trying to see something in a, in a clear aspect. They're gaining clarity here. It's like now somebody's seeing the error of their ways. What about this King of Swords with the Sun? Yeah, they're seeing the error of their ways. They're seeing here, they're seeing clear that something was not their wish fulfillment here. They overindulged in something. And now they're seeing that this can't be rebuilt. And they're mad because they know that this is unrequited love. This is stressing them the fuck out because now they want to commit to you. But they kept you waiting. They kept you waiting. And now you're in this relationship. Now you're in a happy relationship and now they're heartbroken because you're taking a leap somewhere else and now they're sick. They sick to their fucking stomach. Do you hear me? This person is sick. Anything else? Give me some cards that align with this energy. 
Give me some cards that align with this energy. Give me some cards that align with this energy. I'm hearing this song. I think it's by Kenny Latter Lattimore. I never knew. Okay, or was it Jesse Powell? It's one of them. I never knew love could hurt like this. <laughs> Somebody hurt, baby. You got them singing. Addictions. They sick, baby. This person got hella addictions. They're toxic, okay? This person is going through it. They are depressed, honey. They are depressed. Why? Because you have separated yourself from this person, okay? They are going through it. They want to put the pieces back together, all right? Yeah, but it's like they're paralyzed, okay? They they sick. You guys are in separation with this person. I feel like you're holding back. Yeah. They they holding back, you holding back. They want you to be the main lady, but they know y'all are opposites. This person is in love with you. Why did this come out? Yeah, but they toxic. Y'all are toxic for each other. 21, 21. They want to love bomb you here. This person is obsessed with you. But they childish. It was very childish in the past, y'all. They, they cannot. They are like really like negatively thinking about this separation. With the devil here. Somebody could be a Capricorn. What else? Because that wasn't even supposed to be in these cards. Yeah, they, they're just they're with addicted addiction and devil here they feel some type of way they want some type of attachment with you friendship landing on addiction they want you bound to them even if it's just a friend they don't want to be on a vacation from you they want to come back together they want to apologize to you but they're getting proof here or they're trying to find proof on if you were dealing with somebody this person is being childish or they're acting childish or they got a child baby yeah they don't want to run no more they're in love with you they see that you're abundance they feel like you're the blessing but you were the forbidden fruit that they strung along they should never play with you baby clear skin on beam what <laughs> they should never play with you that's just that on that give me some messages when it comes to my Sagittarius's and their um finances with this eclipse and the new moon what is this eclipse bringing on april 8th and this new moon for my sagittarius and those who have it in their chart what is it bringing for their finances and career spirit <laughs> like somebody on their knees like i'm begging you please baby come back to me there's no you without me and no me without you and like somebody is dramatic like Oh shit. Yeah. You hitting some something solid, okay? You could um be very serious on your values, okay? Some of you guys could be going into banking. You're very satisfied with your coin, with your money here. Yeah, it's like your coins are are stepping up. Something could have been slow, but they're stepping up. You could be um working on a a new vendor when it comes to your job or learning more okay building up your skill set yeah something you could be coming up with a new strategy or getting ready to get a new job okay you're learning more i feel like you're in this energy of learning more and you're getting some type of recognition um yeah award yeah i feel like your money is kind of like staying the same with extra money in reverse there is a whatever bad investment, whatever you invested in that was poor at work, relationship, or really in work, it's like that has ended, okay? You're in the process of saving here, and it's okay. What about ornaments in reverse? Yeah, you're coming up with a money strategy, okay? You could be wisely spending so that you can have some type of financial relief. It's like you're trying to save. You're in this energy of saving. I'm here, I'm saving all my love for you. Save the best for last. Like, you're saving, yeah, you're going to receive some type of gift, some generosity, okay? Some type of financial support. You may get a work surprise, maybe a promotion, okay? A bonus or some sort here, but you're not going to see this coming. Okay, one more for my Saggies. Oh, we're not doing that, Spirit. 
okay? <laughs> all right, yeah, you're on your life purpose, all right? You're definitely being guided here when it comes to your job, okay? You're going to be financially sound and overcoming obstacles. You're going to be rising above money issues or any type of financial or career, you know, at vendors that feel stuck. You're going to rise above it and you're going to get the treasure. You're going to get the blessing, okay? Let's see what you need to work on during this period of this eclipse. What does my Sassy's need to work on during this period of the eclipse, April 8th, in this new moon? Some of y'all goofy. Y'all probably are feeling good. I felt the same energy with my Cappy. This new moon could bring in happy energy, okay? Yeah, everything is coming together, okay? All aspects of in the beginning, all the aspects are beginning to fit together. Trust that you are being guided on the right path. Ignore the inner critic and don't give up. Ignore, I heard, ignore your inner circle. Something about your inner circle, people could be trying to steer you the wrong way because they got evil eye or they got some type of jealousy or vendetta against you, whether you know it or not, Okay. Um, you are elevating, you're elevating, you're moving forward. Somebody definitely wants to keep you bound to them because they're wounded because you took flight. You went in another direction. Okay. You went in a direction that you were guided towards going to. So there's a need for you to just know and be clear. Okay. And trust that you are on the right path. Yes. Know that you are valuable. Okay. You may experience some turbulence. Okay. You may experience some changes, all right, some challenges during this period. This might be a difficult time. Letting go of control will place you in the right trajectory. So let go of control. You are valuable, okay? You are incredibly valuable. Be confident in this time in your ability to affect change, okay? Own your power and don't be afraid to utilize it to make a difference in the world, all right? Um, yeah, that's what I have for y'all. I hope this resonated with you, Sagittarius. Until next time, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.